tonight, get ready for Big Brother Confidential, your on-screen magazine full of unseen housemate gossip and giggles. Ray makes a shock confession. Probably stop now, shouldn't I? Angie and Josh, are they or aren't they? Oh, stop it. Ryan lets loose for the ladies. <laughs> and Surly makes a splash in a world exclusive. Surly, who do you nominate and why? Big brother, I nominate Layla because I'm falling in love with her and I'm stuck in this tank and I can't stand watching her all day and not being able to touch her. Layla. Surly. Layla. Yes. Oh, well, you are like a fizzy wizzy. Layla. Look at the fish, it loves me. So much. My beautiful babe. Have you discussed this with Layla? I've tried, big brother, but I'm worried she'll think something's fishy. Oh, yay. Wag your tail if you think you're glad that I've stayed. I'm wagging, baby. I'm wagging. Oh, yay. Now that you're still here, I've got something I wanted to tell you. I think I'm in love with you. Oh my god. Come back. Come back, please. I'll take it all back. Please, come back. Surly, your nomination is accepted. Thanks, BB. Good on you, mate. We interrupt this program for some breaking news. Because of her tasty cream sponge cake, it seems Josh is about to propose to Layla. I know we've only been together for a short time, <laughs> but I've thoroughly enjoyed this last week and a bit. And this, this dessert really is the icing on the proverbial cake. <laughs> no idea. Will you make me the happiest man in the world? And marry me. Yeah. <laughs> oh well. I'll marry you. You didn't have a ring though. I was a bit gutted about not having a ring. Men. Men, eh? We've all come to learn the housemates have a few skeletons in their closets, but I don't think anyone was expecting this doozy from Ray. You want to know something really embarrassing? I should probably stop now, shouldn't I? Say it. When I was, when I was 11, I decided, I made a decision to start collecting my toenails. Worst decision of your life. <laughs> Do you mean collecting the clippings? Yeah. Yeah. Man, you should see how much there is. Still collect them. That's like collecting belly button flop. Where do you store them? In like an old in a jar. container? No, in a jar. You would hide them from girls though, wouldn't you? Uh, it's usually the test. Oh yeah. See how much they like me. You just lost me. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, you lost me. <laughs> yeah. You freak. Story time with Big Brother. Tell us a love story, Big yeah, Brother. Tell, tell us a love story. Once there was a house with 14 housemates. Seven of them were the prettiest females in the land. <sighs> and two of them were named Stacy and Lady. <laughs> that is the cutest. Big brother, you have me in, hello. Likewise. What else? <laughs> and then? That is all. Oh, it's gonna be lo no love story for me. <laughs> Stacey's quite an attractive girl, right? Yeah, I, I would put her at like my number two, but that's a huge amount of personalities in that. Yeah. 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 What's, um, who would be your number one? Uh, not even, uh, no, Stacey's probably number one now. Layla was always just because like, I'm into that style of body. Okay. Like yeah, that's. Yeah. I think that her style of body at the moment is like what's in. That's what I keep saying to her. She's like, oh, I'm really funny. And I'm like, I think what's in at the moment is brown hair, a bit of being voluptuous in the right places. Yeah, like. And having a pretty face. I think that's the look. Yeah, and having boobs that you can make look huge. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like... Straight conversations with gigs. <laughs> Straight convos with Ben and Mike. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> a number of cuddle buddies have formed in the house and Bradley has a theory on how they all began. This is the love bed because this is where the it's first not. couple was formed and now is where the second couple you and Josh, so now we have to do is get those two over here and we can officially label it the love it's not bed. A love bed. It, it is the that. love bed. It's gross. It's the love bed, Angie. You have to accept that. Yeah. No. 
Brad and Angie can't make love. Oh, no. Don't put any, don't put any ideas in Brad his head. Brad and Angie could make love. We, <laughs> Angie and Brad could not make love. We could. No, we, could. we couldn't. How can you say, stop saying no to love? <laughs> Last week on Big Brother Confidential, Bradley wowed the ladies with a strip tease to remember. Not to be outdone, model Ryan thought he could do better. He's done this before, man. Stop looking at yourself. <laughs> Sorry, Ryan. It looks like Bradley is still Big Brother's Lord of the Pants. Welcome to Battle of the Brains. Tonight's teams are Josh and Michael versus Stacey and Benjamin. Your time starts now. Which 80s rock band sang Living on a Prayer? Josh and Michael. What about Gunners? Yeah, good. Yeah. Okay, yeah, let's stick with Guns and Roses. Guns and Roses. Incorrect. What noise does Roadrunner make? Stacey and Benjamin. <laughs> Correct. What do women want? Oh. Now nah, you're asking the tough question. Stacey and Benjamin. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. What was the biggest selling appliance in 2009? Josh and Michael. Um, nose trimmer. Incorrect. And your time is up. Stacey and Benjamin, you are the winners. <laughs> for watching Battle of the Brains. Good night. Move it around and get the other fruits. Just get one fruit, mate. Oh, the two fruits. Yeah. There's the rest of them. That's what's called two fruits. Ah, oh, we should have shaken the can first. We, we got jibs. There's yeah. one fruit in here. No, there's, there's two. barely any. Look, it's all bloody peach. There's heaps of pears. There's barely any. All I got was peach. Do you want to sleep over here tonight? No, I'm just too much. I'm a too much of a temptation, Josh. I just don't want you feeling uncomfortable. We'll sleep back to back. Are you going to sleep with your hair like that? Yeah. Oh. Are you having a whinge already? Kinda. It's all right. No more snuggle buddy for you. Oh, that's cool. Whatever. Oh, so you can sleep in my bed tonight and it makes you feel better. Maybe I better. just won't be there. Angie, is that chocolate cake on your bum? Oh, it is chocolate cake on my bum. Give us a look. Hey. No, I said what? Look. Oh, Angie. Oh, stop it. <laughs> it's like she's shaking a bit of meat in front of me and going, come on, come get it, come get it. You can wear pants, for God's sake. You can wear pants. Whoa, dude, put some pants on. Nah, don't even think you're gonna get away with that. Big Brother Confidential staff have retrieved the shredded letter from Sarah's boyfriend. You know, the one that Josh had to destroy as part of the yes-no task? Well, we glued it back together, and here's what it said. Dear Sarah, my love, oh, how I miss my beer, babe, and so does your horse. Beautiful boy. I miss your angelic voice. Nothing, 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 nothing at all. That was nothing. 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 Your disco moves. Your love of different cultures. That's why I don't believe in the burqa. What about the sun on your face? We're here to live. We're here to love life. That, that's my feeling. I miss your sweet, sweet scent. And I know you miss my manly smell too. Oh, and I know you wouldn't touch any other man, even if they were a millionaire. I'm yours forever, my car sales girl from heaven. Kisses, my darling. The unexpected love story of the week was the whirlwind romance between Stacey and international movie star Ryan Gosling. Let's go back in time to see how this unique pairing came to be. Is there anything you need to share with Big Brother? 
Please, please, please get Ryan Gosling here tomorrow. What is it that makes you want Ryan Gosling? Because I just want to, I just want to smell him. I want to smell, I want to smell what he smells like. Guys, workout double because Ryan Gosling's coming to the Big Brother house on Thursday. <laughs> I can feel it in my loins. I'm assuming that um, Ryan Gosling um, is now possibly in the Gold Coast getting ready for the tonight's festivities as well. Um, just wondering if um, he'd like me to wear underpants or not. Housemates Big Brother will be in touch. So, I no said undies, no, no undies. undies. It's beginning to get late and I was just wondering the ETA on Ryan Gosling. Little did she know her dream man was about to arrive. Stacy, would you like to meet Ryan Gosling? And it was love at first sight. Hello. He's so pretty. Is he everything you ever dreamed of? Absolutely. So beautiful. Oh, he's mesmerising. Stop looking at me, Ryan. Just so you all know, I'd like to be referred as Mrs. Gosling. He likes to watch me work out and it turns him on. He's so, he's just so shy and he lets me talk, which is cool because I'm a big yapper. Their love brought them closer together. Maybe a little too close. Guys, you don't mind if um, Ryan Gosling and I watch uh, you shower, do you? He is looking straight at me. He's like the Mona Lisa. You think Ryan is marriage material? Absolutely. If he's down, I'm down, you know? Introducing House Hits Volume 1. This double CD compilation features all your favourite hits from the Big Brother house. We've got 19 house rockin' tracks from various artists, including the number one smash hit, Spoons on Greek Style Yogurt. Yogurt. Spoons on Greek Style Yogurt. Spoons on Greek Style Yogurt. The Superfly track from rappers Ray and Ryan. We're on a road trip. <laughs> Fresh. We're on a road trip. Yeah, yeah. We're on a road trip. Yeah, yeah. Yeah! Uh, 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 trip. There's the workout favourite, Ryan Ryan. Hey, Ryan, hey, 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 Ryan, Ryan, hey. hey. Hey Ryan, hey, hey, hey Ryan, Ryan, hey, 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 can wash it with the water. Can wash it. Can wash it. Can wash it. Can wash it with the water. Endless smash hits sung by average singers. So hard to choose a favour of so many classics. House Hits Volume 1 out now. To save Bradley, call 1902 SMS Bradley to 1995599 or vote on Facebook. The day we all feared is upon us. The arrival of beings from another world. <coughs> Under the cover of darkness, the house has been infiltrated. One of these people is not like the others. One of these people is the visitor. Last week, Big Brother Confidential released footage of one particular housemate behaving mysteriously. But in a bizarre twist, not only does this housemate continue to display alien tendencies, but the odd behaviour of a second housemate leads us to believe that what is occurring can only be described as a recruitment drive. Put your notes on my nose this way. They've been seen exhibiting extraterrestrial growths. <laughs> performing alien mating rituals. <laughs> and 
beaming sonar messages into the cosmos. Is there in fact two of them? Stay tuned as we continue to examine more footage in the next instalment of The Visitor. So Everyone seems to got their own stereotype. But the what am I? What's my stereotype? Hmm? Gangsta chick. Stella on the mic, better check this style. Who you know besides me, get this wild. Try to bite, but you won't fit. Only thing I can't explain is why you ain't quit. That's obscene, we're really in the scene. Yeah, when on another television so show, it's so clean. Boys drool, girls rule. You just a fool. <laughs> Josh came out before and he's like, I'm only saying this because I think you'll agree with me, but if I hear Stella do another freestyle rap, I will kill myself. And I'm sitting there and I'm just going, oh, oh. <laughs> But I'm just used to them now because she does them all the time. Dude, I do freestyles like all the time. Like that's what I love doing at parties. But I would never do it here. Like there's certain things you do to not look like a dickhead. Like I like Stella, it's just that that's embarrassing. And, and, and the gangster thing she puts on, I'm just like, Dude, you drive a Range Rover and you ride horses. You're not gangster. I, I'm stoked that someone else is feeling it because I felt like a bitch thinking it. But that's that's what she's about, and that's she. You know, like that. She just says that all the time. She's like, oh, nobody will ever get me because I'm like a bit of everything. No, you yeah. know why? Because she doesn't get herself yet. Uh -huh. She hasn't figured out what shit like she's comfortable being yet. You know, and that's just the way it is. Feeling close to Layla, Zoe felt comfortable enough to open up about when she was bullied in high school. Do you know what they did to me in year seven? What? There was a boy who was new at our school and he asked me out over Emerson chat. Oh. And I was like, yeah, for sure. And then he's like, meet me in the quadrangle tomorrow at school. I was like, okay. So I went to the quad the next day and I got there and him and all my old friends, all my, who I thought my friends, but had actually turned on me. Him and all my friends and all the older kids stood and laughed at me. Because they're like, who would ever actually want to date you, Zoe? Some people are so heartless, I'd never make anyone feel inferior of me. Well, I started doing that, be that stuff because I was like, yeah, it gets, well, I've had it done to me, yeah, so it exactly. must be all right to do that's it to what, other people. That's what happens that a lot of the time. I hate all bullies. Bull bullying is not cool, you little <laughs> And half the time, they're the ones who peak in high school and have a shit life. Yeah. Even though Layla is a trained beautician, Ben has turned to Dreadlock George for a haircut. Come here, son. Yep. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, yes, you have beautiful condition. Oh, <laughs> I smell like what <laughs> I'm worried and scared. Really? It's just hair. Why are you cutting with your left? Are you not I don't right? know what was going on. <laughs> Ray. Benjamin, but last night, became bald. <laughs> I feel more like you're making me an Easter bonnet parade hat <laughs> than cutting my hair. Yeah. Oh, but my, my ears feel very, ver like, very volatile right you're now. Right, you're right. Exposed, <laughs> Maybe a little exposed? You're the fear in your eyes just then, mate. Just saying. Alright, let me check that out. Oh, oh that's wonderful! Can I be the worst person ever on. and not pay you and ask you to clean up this awful mess? <laughs> <laughs> To save Ryan, call 1902 559511. SMS Ryan to 199 or vote on Facebook. I'm just gonna hang out in my fort With for a bit the medicine longer. Ball. <laughs> Rattles, is that your den? <laughs> this is my towel town. Population <laughs> awesome. I just feel like going up to it and just kicking it, eh? Can you do it, please? Oh, yes. <laughs> no one will expect it from George as well. <laughs> yes! <laughs> George is right.
Would you do this to me? Gee, I say some stupid things. I was by with my little eye. Something beginning with M. Is it on the board there or? I can't tell you. And you can't tell me. This is the whole point of the game. I say a letter and you have to look for it. So I want to think of Ray in my brain. My brain's thinking Ray, hot chocolate, or hot chocolate and yeah. Ray, or hot milk, or chocolate milk with Ray. Let's play a game. See which items can float. See, in my head, this is what Ryan's brain thinks. So out of nowhere, dogs came into my brain. So then I thought, all right, let's talk about dogs. So then I'll say, hey guys, I might get a dog. Can you like donate your brain to like science after you die or something? Oh, so they can study you? But seriously, dogs are nice. <laughs> See, people don't really validate where I get these ideas from that pop up in my brain. <laughs> I, I just think I'm stupid. Will this float? The girls in the house are not the best at putting their things away, which is not a smart idea when living with these boys. Wait, Bradley, can you please just put this on? Just take that shirt off and put this on. <laughs> this is getting weird. Just put it on! Come on! It's not Stella's, that would be weird. It's Angie, so it's fine. But, uh, <laughs> no, this is, put your arms through. Put your arms through. Arms through. Oh, yes. Now lie down. Kiss the photo, Brad. Kiss the photo. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Kiss, kiss it, that. kiss it. Dude, that's great. Hold on. Wait, wait, no, you get, or you get your arm, well. or you get your left arm yeah, out. Tongue, tongue, tongue out. Get your left tongue, tongue. There you go, there you go. <laughs> oh, get, get, get your armpit here out. You want to see your armpit here? <laughs> that's a money shot. Well, let's hope they show that within context. Nope. To save Benjamin, call 1902 559502, SMS Benjamin to 199 or vote on Facebook. Dreamworld, the home of Big Brother.